Okay, so hi everybody. So this is the next in the League of Legends series. Now this is a game I recorded a while back um, of Tank Echo. I think it's only like three or four days ago. But I wasn't really talking while I was doing it, so I said I'd do the voiceover like separately. Um, there is like you can see behind the masteries and runes on the corner here um, that there's a. Uh, there was a webcam going, that was just because when I press record, um, it records webcam all, unless I tell it not to, so it recorded the webcam. So I just put the masteries and the runes over it uh, that I use, um, so you can kind of get an idea of them as well. And um, I put this other webcam in the other corner so you can see me talking and stuff. Now, what I'm trying to do as Tank Echo is I'm trying to get so tanky that I can just kind of run around in fights and just hit people um, and soak up as much damage as I can and then when I get a lot of damage dealt to me I can just heal it all back up and basically we got a second fight going. Um, but in early game that's not your objective especially against another tank so in this game I'm against a Mundo and um, Mundo's uh, main issue is like he's weaker early game he becomes stronger in the later game in my opinion. Um, so if you can kill him a few times in early game, he kind of gets pushed back a good bit and then he has to kind of work his way back up. So it gives you more time in the later game to kind of like uh, have control over the game and stuff. Um, so you can see here, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, every time he comes in and hits me, I'm trying to hit him again so it gets my own, own grasp. Um, of the undying up and the reason why that um sorry, grasp of the undying uh, the reason why i want that up is because it gives me a big heal and it's the only reason see there i got a big heal the only reason that i can kind of fight mundo and stuff is because of that heal um if i didn't have that heal and i had something like thunder lords mundo would probably out sustain me in these fights um so the general thing you want to do is start with q um, Q is kind of like your main damaging spell and it's also good for wave clear so say if you're playing against a champion that's more ranged and stuff and they're kind of keeping you off the minions you can still fire out Q to get a few minions and stuff. Now what I'm doing here, this is a very important part, um, I'm trying to sneakily attack Mundo because I know that I can win a fight with him after that first fight um, if I can get him before he's on full health and stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm chugging pots in the bush and I'm going to pop one pot before I go and fight him um, and my idea is hide in the bush because I can throw out my W when I get W so that's what I'm waiting on now I can throw it out behind me and then just go in on Mundo and he won't see it coming so you can see there it went into the wall so he can't see that W starting to come until the very last moment so I get a free stun on him and then I can fight him and now what he does is he actually walks into my minions which I was hoping he'd do um, and then I can just dash on him now and finish him um, so that's how you gain an advantage against a really tanky champion as Echo because Echo is a tank later in the game in the early game he's just like a normal kind of assassin um, and you have to play him like that so you have to get a kill or a few earlier if you really want to get ahead against those tanks and stuff so that's an easy way to do it is there them bushes on the side as long as you place the W in the right direction um, he'll uh, it'll catch him and he can't see it the other thing as well is um, when you disappear for long amounts of time, so I went into that bush and he couldn't see me going into that bush first of all. When you disappear for long amounts of time, your enemy will start to push the lane, which also gives you another advantage when fighting them because they are more on your side and you can chase them for longer so that you might get the kill. So if you know you have the advantage, you want them to be on your half of the lane at least, and then you can chase them for longer and you can get the kill. Now, I'm rushing um, Frozen Gauntlet first. Um, the reason why I kind of rush Frozen Gauntlet is because... Uh, Frozen Gauntlet gives you more burst damage in your combo, but it also gives you um, a lot more cooldown reduction and a lot more uh, armor and stuff. But the main thing I rush it for is actually just, it is a tanky item, but it's the, one of the only tanky items that gives you burst um, in your combo. So the the Lich Bane kind of helps you get that thing down. And with my own Grasp of the Undying, I kind of just want to stay in a fight for like about 4 or 5 seconds, and then back up and then go again. Um, now, I know I'm able to fight Mundo again here, so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to like clear waves until Mundo makes a mistake again, and then uh, I'm just going to fight him. Now, my Sejuani's here, so I'm just chasing after him, and I'm trying to stay in front of Mundo, because that gives him um, kind of nowhere to go. And what I did there uh, is I, after I got low enough that he could possibly kill me with a Q in an auto, I started to stand behind Sejuani. And that's because if his Q goes through 
um, it'll actually get blocked by Sejuani and I can just like absorb more damage. And also, it's really helpful against Mundo 2 or any champion that has like a skill shot that can be blocked is to stand behind a champion near you if they're on more health. So whoever's on more health should be in front of you. Um, and then you, especially if you have like Ungrasp of the Undying or any other uh, thing that can heal you, because you can actually get healed then on the other side and then you can swap places. So you can actually make the fight last a lot longer um, if that's like a core spell in their thing. So on Mundo, like in early levels especially, his Q it, is the thing that deals a lot of damage. Um, later on, his like AoE thing deals a good bit, but mostly his Q deals a good bit of damage early on. Um, so you kind of later on you kind of just want to run away from a mundo um if he's on you with all with his a area of effect thing um his little fiery balls go around him and stuff and he also gets li life steal and stuff from his uh other spells so he kind of can just regen health and things so um you kind of don't want to stay fighting mundo later in the game but in the early game um just use things to block it so minions are a good way to block it too and uh, if you're ever fighting a mundo in lane try to stay in your minions and uh, move behind your minions as you're fighting them because it'll block a load of the damage from his cues and stuff um and yeah that's kind of like a main tip for mundo um right so what i do here is i'm i'm trying to keep my health pool really high because i know if mundo like if mundo gets a health advantage he'll go like ham on you and he'll start using his regen thing to fight you um, so now he's level 6 especially uh, he can do that but what I'm going to do now is because I know I can beat, a mun beat Mundo is I might actually use my ult to come back to lane and stuff um, and I think I might have done it already I kind of didn't notice, I probably did um, but anyways yeah you can use your ult to come back to lane and um, uh, it, it's if you don't need it so say if you had because um, now I know I have an advantage I won't need the ult to kill Mundo and I'm pretty sure I can get away from him if he tries to kill me um, so you can use it to come back to lane to just get that extra pressure on Mundo and stuff so like I'm pretty sure I'm going to use it in a sec to do it um, and I want to keep my TP the reason why you want to keep your TP your TP is still better than your ult um, to get back to lane it's also better uh, because you can use it to go somewhere else and stuff um, you can use it to go like down bottom things i'm pretty sure yeah i used my ult once to get back to lane right um and i'd say i'll use it one more time probably to get my next round of items and then i won't because i'll keep it for damage then after that um but yeah you can use your you can use your uh tp to get to other lanes to help them out so like say bot now bot is looking kind of juicy at the moment because they have a shen and shen players play quite aggressively but caitlin doesn't want an aggressive play um, so I'm kind of probably looking bot, you, can't, you probably saw me there for a second, uh, taking a quick look bot and stuff. Alright, I'm not going to use ult there, so it's probably use TP now, will it? No, I'm going to walk it out because the minions are on Mundo side if you look down the map and stuff. And um, if, if I get back up to lane, the minions won't actually be at my tower before I get up to lane and I won't lose as many as... Um, I, I would have so if the minions are pushed into your tower you can use your TP to you go to your tower um, unless it's like around the time of dragon fight because dragon you can get a lot more kills in that dragon fight um, and you can get a lot more kills in um, just any any kind of fight down around the bot because there's more ch champions down around there and um, you can also get dragon and then uh, so I didn't have to use it there because I I can walk up to it before the minions get to my tower because if they're on his side and there's a few of my minions they actually won't get to your tower before uh, you get back up so it's kind of a good idea to save your TP because your TP is a good load of utility and stuff so you can see there the, uh, the grass of the undying there working a lot as well it's gaining my health back and stuff and if you take too many axes from Mundo there um, that's what would have set me far behind so if Mundo lands like three to four axes on it um, that's you like on no health and you can't fight him anymore so you have to make sure you block Mundo's uh, sorry not block dodge Mundo's axis so dodge behind a minion or just dodge left and right um, and uh, you kind of have to be sure about the minions There's a lot of times um, in games I've like still behind a really low health minion and it just gets killed by the other minions and then the axe goes through so just be really careful think about it ahead like and so um, what I'm going to do here now is because I pushed the minion wave into Mundo, I've got like a little bit of time and I can't really gank mid because mid's kind of pushed, so I'm just going to try and get scuttles. 
um, while awaiting. Now we know Mundo warded uh, Tribush there, so um, I I won't go that way now. And I probably told someone they warded Tribush because it was a really obvious time. Um, I can't really re really remember if I told someone that, but it, that was really obvious on the map. And if I wasn't looking at the map, I should kick myself um, because he's probably getting it and kind of when you're doing like jungle camps and stuff you kind of can just look at the map you don't really need to look at the camp most of the time if you kind of get used to your champion and you kind of know how to clear the camp and stuff like scuttles is pretty easy you just kind of click and just move and stuff um especially on echo and stuff it's just a lot of just spam your spells and you can look in between spamming your spells um okay so there's a fight going on down around bot now. So I'm TPing in because I know this Yi it wants to get Drake. Now I don't think I'm gonna get a kill on Yi. If I get no, I'd say I'll go down towards those bot lane. So I'll probably dash onto like Shen or someone. Um just to get a few kills. And let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I dash onto someone here. Um Okay, and then he's dead and we can probably follow her if I wanted. No, we're gonna go for Drake. Uh, no, we're not. I'm going back top because Mundo's pushing. So the idea here, there was just to get any kind of kill before I went back up. And um, I'm going to head back top now. Now, uh, in later in the game, Katarina could become a problem. Um, so what you kind of want to do is start saving your W to like predict when Kata is going to go in. Um, and it doesn't. It, it's much better if you can get her when she used her ult in the stun. But it doesn't really matter on this team comp because we have another stun. We have um, Sejuani's. Um, so you're kind of hoping that Sejuani knows that she should save her things. But if later in the game and Sejuani's just kind of spamming her spell at the start of fights um, and Katarina's going around, then you got to start saving your W to use on Katarina. And you got to be like the smarter player and use it second. Um, and that's what comes down to beating Katarina is basically can you stun her after your ult? If you can, it's your job to stun her after your ult. Um, like Zed can't stun her after your ult, so his job is like to either burst her or don't even go near her. Um, so, it's them. so now, there you go. So you saw me TP, TP back to lane there. So I just bought my items really fast and you have about four seconds before you can, uh, before you're person will come back to you and you can't TP back to lane with your ult. Um, and the reason why I'm doing it again here is because I have a level advantage on Mundo so I know I can beat him and um, I'm pretty sure like I, I'll just trash him in any fight at the moment. Um, so that's kind of why I use that. Um, now you can probably notice that I haven't used W a lot against Mundo anymore because I don't want to use W against Mundo. Um, because I'm pretty sure I can just fight him and I'm saving the W for when he tries to like regen and go in in an all in, all in fight on me so uh, you'll only probably see me if use W against Mundo for the rest of the game is if he's chasing me um, with more health than me um, and I won't bother other than that so I might take the scuds on Yi or I might just kill Yi uh, maybe no i just go back I'll go back and help him push the hit or something Nope, I'm going ham. I'm going ham. I'll probably die here. Yep. Okay, so there basically once they go through that bush there, there's no point in going after them again. Um because what tends to happen is there's always a pe people on the other side. The only time that you can is if there's already a fight going down around um that tower there. And that's a kinda good time to go follow one person back there. Um or if like you know they've got a combo on them right beforehand, you know everybody's kind of low, you could go in on them. Um, so that was my bad there, but we'll see how I recover from that. So Sejuani got a double kill, so that's pretty good. Um, triple kill, there we go. So Sejuani now, um, she should be able to deal with most people's damage and stuff. Now I'm going mid um, because this Katarina is staying around the push and I'm hoping to kind of get a lucky kill on her and if I don't I'm just going to push the wave and then head top or something or else push tower um, the idea here is there's nobody in this lane so nobody needs this CS but I don't want to lose the CS so that's why I'm going for it so let's see what he does here now what do I do probably push it do we just push it in the tower yeah I push it in the tower so she loses CS I'd say um, I see Mundo going top now so I might run top or I might just push tower. I'm pushing tower. Okay. So the tower is low enough, and I think I'm not going to get up to Mundo in time, so I'm just going to push. 
and I have eight seconds on TP, so I'll probably TP once I get this tower pushed enough. Um, because, yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna TP, and hopefully I'll get turret, or his Zed will get turret, and I can just like clear off this. I won't clear these minions, will I? It'll be pretty good. Oh, I use my ult. Okay, that was a pretty good idea because I don't need my ult for Mundo still. So that was a good idea. Um, okay, so now we have tower and. Uh, the only reason why you want to save like those low health towers, like that mid tower now is really, really low health for us, so we can take it at any point, is it's more for like a middle kind of game you're playing with them. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Oh, that was good. And you can see there I used W defensively, so I was kind of waiting till he came in um, to use it, and now he's gonna fight me and he's gonna die. Yeah. Uh, the reason why he died there was he chose to fight me in my minions. Um, he would have survived if, they, if, if he had like, just kind of thrown another axe um, before he fight it. Um, so if you threw an axe and wait like one or two seconds and then just chase, um, he would have survived. Um, but I kind of knew he was going to fight me in minions, so that's why I just killed him. Um, okay, so let's think about what's happening now. So on the map now at the moment, bot's pushed, top's going to be pushed. Um, so that leaves um, mid that's going to. Thing. I'll probably just stay here and push this. Yeah. Um, yeah, so mid fell there. So, but the thing is now at the moment, I have two options as tank echo. Because echo is so tanky, you can actually just start to split push from now on because you know you've advantage against your other laner opponent. And um, because what happens in top lane is it's always the top laner that comes up to you for a good while. Um, they don't really swap in low elo. Um, who's chasing you and stuff so like if Mundo was top lane against me it's his responsibility to kind of come up and get me is what they think in low elo and people don't just swap lanes um, so like or ye won't start like split push until he finishes the sated um, and things like that so my job is to either split push or join the team because um, as a tank I can soak up a load of damage in team fights and stuff and I'm probably just going right Zed's got him I'm probably just going to join this fight because Mundo's down here um, and I'd say that's why I joined the fight, but uh, I can probably clean up pretty good. Like, so I got one here, and Mundo's running off. So I won't get Mundo, I don't think, because Mundo's gonna run away far enough. Ooh, maybe. Oh, I know I do, I trick him. So here's a trick for, if you have anyone who can dash over a wall, if you go this side, they'll run back to river, and it's easier to catch him this direction, because this direction, they have a long way to go before they get to safety, so you can either get someone to come down and help you kill him, or you can start, you could dash that wall again there if you got a bit further away, or you could just dash straight on them like I did there. So it's a longer way for them to run. So if you have a dash over the wall and you have more health, go over the wall, you can get them to run the other way um, in low elo, and they kind of don't know that it's worse to go that way. Um, like if, if I was Mundo, I would just try and run for the tower straight up and hope that I get away, rather than going around and giving me more time to try and kill him. <laughs> So that's what happened there. So I used W there because I thought Yi was going to just kind of dash in on me. And I was going to dash into the W so that he gets stunned at the end of his dash. Um, but he didn't. So that's that. Um, and then let's see what this Katarina. Yeah, I probably just pop her. Yeah, there we go. So it said we can kill her. I'd say, oh, she's on yes. Okay. So I ulted there just because there was a lot of people coming out of the bush. And it's to be safe more than anything because there's no point in dying if you can avoid it and in an echo you can avoid it like about 60 percent of the time i'd say uh if there's like people just running at you you kind of know just use all be safe kind of thing there you go so he's dead and what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to like stay in the outer edges of this fight but uh still go in every now and again to kind of help with damage and stuff um now i don't want to tank too many turret shots because um because I'm still I'm still squidgy for a tank. I'm not like a super tank, so um, not yet. Anyway, so maybe in the next item or two, I might start tanking a lot more towers for people and things. Uh, because my job is to tank, but my job is more to survive in fights. Because I deal a lot of, a lot of base damage. Like Sejuani is more of a tank tank, so she deals a lot. She she can absorb a lot of damage and stuff like that. So I'm gonna back up here because I'm no mana and I can't really do anything. Um, and one is going to cancel me back, but I'll probably just back again or something. Might throw like some, yeah. So I throw the W for a slow. Might help someone here. And that, that's another good 
tip uh, before you back in if you have the mana just throw out w's or cubes or whatever um because you'll regen your mana when you go back and stuff unless you're doing the tp trick because you don't actually regen enough mana back fast enough um that you can do it so what i got there was oh i didn't realize oh no sure you can see my items when this screen goes down yeah what i got there was a uh, some fire cape and stuff um and the reason why i got some fire cape was i just want to deal more aoe damage in a fight and stuff um so that's the reason for that now i'd say i'd get a thorn mail later because he is in this game um and then i'd get something um just to deal with Katarina, so I might get some more ammo or something. I might get like a Bissell or something, just to deal with the damage that Katarina is going to be dealing out because she can become a real pain in team fights later, and he can become a pain too because of his autos. So I'd say I'll definitely get Thornmail later, even though he's not a problem at the moment because it'll help for him and for Caitlyn. Um, okay, so what's my objective at the moment? So now really what I should be doing, I shouldn't be going off here clear in the jungle. I should have just pushed bot up and it would have created more pressure and that, that would have been a better idea. Um, I'm kind of just getting greedy or else I'm trying to get money to finish an item. That's the only other reason why I would do this normally. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I'm going for like Deadmans or something. Um, but anyways, yeah. So we're going to push this out and we're going to hope for the best. Um... Okay. There's one note. Yeah, so I'm just gonna chase after them again. So you can see here, because Echo's damage is so high, the base damage there I miss my ult. Uh it's because that's that's why he works as a tank. Like that's why you're seeing a lot more of these like AP bruiser top tanks, like uh, well AP assassins top as tanks. So you have Echo, Akali, Fizz now is coming into play. Um, and it's because their base damage is really high and people are kind of figuring out that it, well if he has high base damage I can just build a tank and people can't kill me. It's kind of it used to be an old kind of trolley method like you'd see people building like Vagar and stuff as tanks a long long time ago um, just for fun and things and Mordekaiser is tanks when he was the other kind of way as a Mordekaiser and it's just like it's something that people can't can't deal with <laughs> It's just they don't know what to do. They don't know how to kill people. Um, if you have one person kind of not knowing what's going on, you can get a lot of problems. And I'd say someone's going to die. Probably Bron. Yeah. Um, and I'll just run away. Maybe not. Bron, Bron get out. Okay. Maybe I'll die because I'm going to be stupid now, I'd say, and just run in or something. Okay. Let's see. No, I'll get out. Okay. Um... So like what I'm probably saying now is to focus Katarina because after that fight that it was kind of only Katarina who caused the trouble in that fight or Caitlyn. Um, that one was Katarina but I'm probably saying to focus Katarina in fights or is it after this fight? I think after this fight was when I started to focus Katarina um, because she does something in a while that's really annoying. So that's how that happens um another thing now we're kind of getting onto like inhib turrets and stuff and they're way more important than anything else if you can get an inhib um you, you prioritize inhibs over everything prioritize an inhib over baron and over dragon and everything because if they're open it creates so much pressure for that lane because of the super minions that um all the people have to go there to deal with the super minions um, or most people and you kind of like have free barons and free drakes so there's going to be a lot of trying to push I'd say in the next few minutes um, just to try and get damage on turrets and stuff and how much time we got left? Well, not much um, so that's probably what's going to happen and I, what will also happen a lot it, like this is just me predicting what's going to happen um, you can kind of like know how games are going to go depending on the champions is what's going to happen next this is going to be a big fight somewhere and someone's going to try and split push from our team and that's a good idea because if there's four people having a fight but they're not really having a fight they're just kind of like pressuring the team by being there so you can see there's a fight going on bot now so I'll probably actually take up the split push role now and I'll go to a lane and I'll try and split push it so where am I going? I'm going top. I'm going to try and push the minions so they go off up into the lane. And um, I might just go all the way for a turret if they're still fighting and stuff. But if I can't see them, I'll back off. 
because I don't know where they're going to be and they might just all come behind me um, unless the tower is really really low and stuff so I'm going to push yeah I'm going to push it all the way up because my team are in mid at the moment and they're kind of putting pressure on them and uh, those pigs there I know the two tanks are actually in mid and I'm pretty sure I can kill anybody else who comes for a fight or I can get away from them at least um, so I'm not I'm not leaving like he comes now I can probably fight a yee, to be honest. Let's see what happens. Yeah, got you. I'm waiting for the ult to come in, but I didn't need it. So, okay, so that's that. And then now I'm going to ult. Yeah, there we go. Because Katarina's there just to get a bit extra damage, dash away from her ultimate, run back in now, and dash on her. It's a, yeah. And that was bad by me because of Shen. Okay, so uh, if. I wouldn't have dashed in there if I saw the Shen ult first because Shen, if Shen comes into a fight, you're pretty much screwed if they have an assassin or anyone with high base damage or anyone with high burst damage because Shen's just going to taunt you and you can't do anything. Um, and I didn't have ult there to get out of Shen's taunt. I had flash and I probably should have flashed, um, but that's my bad. So we'll see what happens now. So we have another turret down. So now they have all their outer turrets gone and their middle turret's gone so now we gotta get their in hip turrets left um outer and inner turrets are gone yeah and then the in hip turrets are next um so the in hips yeah she gonna kill them yeah this is definitely where i said start focusing catara yeah you can see my chat open there oh, so that's what that happened um because she just starts katarina really starts to snowball later in the game if you can't get uh, lock her down and what ca good Katarina players will do is they'll wait outside a fight for the fight to start until they see the major CC gone and then they come back into fight so that's really good on them so you kinda you have to be the smarter person to save your CC or else just go on a, a Kata get her to waste her ult and then go away from a Kata um, and then just kill her as soon as she comes in again then, because she has no like damage and stuff right so there's a fight going on up at baron so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split push and this is all your goal is with tank echo is because you can either join your team or you can do this you can just like go to a different lane push go to a different lane push you can see katarina teleporting back and i definitely know i saw this when i was playing the game because i remember that and i was like oh will i make it there in time or not and then i thought oh it's only a katarina i can probably just kill a katarina um, and if I see anyone else like Yi or someone, I can just run away. So I keep pushing until I see someone else, I'd say. So there's Katarina. So I'm going to back up. I'm going to try and fight Katarina. And then someone will come probably. Yeah, there's Yi. So now it's time to run away because Yi's there. Okay. So one-on-one uh, -on -one fight with Echo, you probably beat everybody. Um, I knew I couldn't get away there. So I said I'd dash back in to fight the Katarina and to get my passive again the idea of getting your passive is you're much faster with your passive up and there where i dashed over the wall i could have killed ye um looking back at it now because i had w and q up so if i had dashed over the wall and put my w down i would have seen him when the w landed and then i could have queued and dashed on though so that would have been a well actually that would have been 400 500. no i wouldn't have killed him he would have had 100 health left and then he would have meditated and then he probably killed me so yeah it was actually a good idea to dash over the wall okay so let's see what else is going on so on the map now at the moment they're fighting again so you can see how this just repeats and repeats and repeats and this is all you do with tanks if well not with tanks but with tanks that can take turrets you just get into a lane split push and then just do it again and they're all fighting in mid now the only time you start grouping up with your team is when they're kind of falling behind and uh, they need it or you know you can get easy kills and stuff but you're m more about prioritizing towers so there's no really reason to join up with them they're on the other side of the map now they're keeping them distracted you can get a turf so um and especially with champions that can build the the gauntlet or lich bane or triforce because of the sheen proc you take turrets really really easy and stuff so you i don't know what that noise was um Okay, so let's see how it goes here now. Okay, so 
actually it. So we just get turret and they're all fighting bots so I can push again. And someone will probably come to me now because when you see people on hibs, everybody seems to back and just run for you. So I'd say someone will come to me. And oh, another tip here is for taking turrets and inhibs and stuff faster is you can use your spells to proc your uh, Lich Bane. So I'm kind of like rotating my spells. So every time that my um, gauntlet and stuff is up, I can use it. And there I actually saved my dash for for when I finished the inhib so I could dash onto Caitlyn. Because um, I could, I would normally just use the dash straight away, but I definitely saved it there and I remember doing that too. Um, so right now here everybody's coming after me so I'm gonna get out of here um, and the reason why you want to throw your Q is for the slow um, also if they get on close to you after you have your Q on them you can get your third proc and get a big speed boost to run away from so that's another reason I say Mundo might keep chase here no he's not okay so we're gonna back it up and I might ult the in will I no I won't it's too long um, yeah, here's the thorn mail. So I'm gonna build thorn mail now. That's free. Okay. Um, if I don't build thorn mail, I'm building it for crits. No, see there. I was thinking about it. Should I build it for the crits from Caitlyn, or should I just build thorn mail? I'm gonna build thorn mail, and I'm gonna get some more speed. Yeah, just so I can get around the map a bit faster for this split push. So now we know the top really doesn't need a split push, but I'm I'm running up here to get blue. Um, and the reason why I'm getting blue is because if I have a bigger mana pool, well, I'm not. I'm, we're going for Baron. Maybe we thought we were doing the Baron. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to do Baron. Okay, yeah. We, we're, we're thinking we're stronger than them now. They have to deal with the minions top. We're just going to get Baron. Um, and you can see them all coming in over the map here now on the top side. Now, I could just dash over and help them if I wanted to, or I could just try and finish it. Um, now... I'd say we're just gonna, I'm gonna come out here and try and zone off a few people so they can't fight and things. And I'm gonna wait for the ult to get in line and I'm gonna ult if I have to. I'm gonna kill Caitlyn first. Boom, okay, that's that one, that one, and then here we go. Yeah, there we go, ult. Because you wanna just deal as much damage to Katarina as you can as possible, get her to use her ult, then run away. And now I can't really go back in because of Mundo, but I might dash onto Katarina just for the sake of killing her so she can't end this. And that was silly by me. Yeah. But that's what I was definitely thinking at that time. I was thinking I should have dashed onto Katarina because I was uh, thinking she'd win in a fight if there was people left just in a fight. Um, but now the minions are pushing and stuff, so you can see them pushing in turrets and things up at top and they're trying to push mid here mundo is by himself katarina is going to back and clear um and that turret's so low so low so uh mundo there shouldn't really try and push he should have just went back got his stuff and then came back with more stuff to try and push um i don't think he got anything there like right, by trying to push that mid turf because what's going to happen now if they actually were to get ahead and they got a good pick later they could have just pushed that turret as like three or four and they would have got it in a few seconds so it's kind of a waste of time on mundo he should have just went and got money somewhere um or else bought something or something like that now you can see i finished with horn mail so that means he isn't going to be a problem anymore and um, because he'll just kill himself on on me so when he hits uh me he won't deal enough damage and he'll just hurt himself because I have basically loads of armor and stuff um, like I have four armor items there so ye ain't gonna be a problem and the reason why you build against the ye is because ye always has that point in the game where he becomes really really strong because of Satan Devourer and if you just build as if you're the tank your your job is going to be build against ye you can kill him nearly all the time and stuff and there I messed up uh, still, we still got him. Zed saved. I'd say I would have got him by myself just with a little bit of health left. Um, the reason why I messed up there was because I used my ult to run away. But they, uh, Zed came in and I should have just used it for damage in the first place. So I know that turret's low. That's why I'm dashing over here to try and get the turret. Uh, because it's better to... The closer you are to the Nexus, the more work stuff is. So instead of getting that turret and inhib up the other side, I can just get that turret and... I probably just fight it here, will I? I'll probably just try to end. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and end because nobody's here trying to stop me and I have all my lit my sheen procs. 
that I can use on this in Nexus, and I'd say I'll get it because there's a super minion there. Yep, I'm definitely going to just end it. Go on, go on. And another thing when you're trying to end the game and you're trying to get the Nexus is just run around like this where you're keeping the other opponent on the other side of the uh, Nexus as long as possible if it's one, but when it's two, just hit the thing. And that's usually better um, because you'll get more damage onto the Nexus. And there you go, you see we won the game. So main tips on Echo for top is try and get a kill really, really early on and get ahead of your other opponent if he's a tank two, then just push out the lane and stuff and then just split push after that um, and just take turrets and things. And if anybody comes to try and fight you, you should be able to run away. Um, and if they don't, um, your other team will just destroy them or you'll just have a free turret. Yeah. So it's done. Um, and then you want to take on Grasp of the Undying and usually damage then on the other side. I take these ones for damage on Grasp of the Undying. I take three AP Quints, uh, nine armor, magic pen marks, and then uh, AP per level seals. Um, and the only way, way I change that is I would challenge this to helper level if I was getting an AP top because Rise is coming up as a counter to this or well people are thinking he's a counter to echo so yeah if you take hp per level and just build a vessel first against rise you'll pretty much beat a rise okay so that's this video um the next video uh will be out later in the week in the weekend and it should be the energy videos that people were asking for um and i'm trying to collab with another youtube channel to do that so i'll see you in that video and good luck to everybody on summoner's rift and i'll see you next time we